and we're moving into the bed of the T9 Automoblox car now and this is what it looks like after it's been all finished uh, now I'm not going to walk you step by step how to do this I'm just gonna give you tips on what I did because I'm expecting you to be able to do all of this on your own now and you can kinda get an idea of everything that I did if you take a look over here at my browser and if you go into your OneNote binder you'll notice that there is another page now for the bed and quick reminder you don't need to add 3D annotations or dimensions on the model because we're gonna do the drawings at the end and don't forget to screen clip in a picture of your model in the browser right above this picture so you can get your progress points and again as usual first thing you should do go start a new part file save as in your T9 Automoblox folder and call it bed so let's take a look at what I did the first thing you're gonna to want to do is start in the front uh, plane and just create the overall width and height with a rectangle and just extrude it back so you can see that I did that there and where are you getting all your measurements from well if you take a look at this drawing here you'll notice I'm giving you a rear view and a left side view and then a detail view that has been blown up so a portion of this rear tail light section has been blown up so you can see those circles the locations that notch the locations and then you're also given an isometric and the isometric has been provided mainly to give you size and location dimensions for the two cutouts this cutout in the front portion of the bed and then this cutout right here which is actually the bed area the back of the T9 some other things to make note of it is wood birch still and all exterior rounds are 0.3 so you're gonna see a curve right there right there right there right there and then also in the back on the bottom if you look at this right here there's also that exterior round right there and all those have a radius of 0.3 and then all interior fillets are 0.2, so there's eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All of those have a radius of 0.2. And um, you also want to make note of the holes, their depths, they're not going all the way through. Um, so there's two of these, one on this side, one on the other side. You're given location dimensions and you're also given size and depth dimensions and that same thing for the tail lights on the back of the bed on the right side and the left side and remember TYP stands for typical meaning that you know this is the same as this over here same thing when you see this like 0.34 this is also 0.34 0.27, 0.27, and so on. So you just want to make sure you're taking in all the measurements and using everything that everything that you need will be in this drawing to create the actual model. So after you've gone ahead and extruded that, you'll notice that I did the notches next. So I did a new sketch on this face, drew those in, extrude, cut those. Then I went ahead and I did this front cutout. So I drew that rectangle size dimensions location dimensions extruded it cut it and then I did this bed area so I drew a new sketch on the top face drew that rectangle size dimensions location dimensions extrude cut it down and then you'll notice I added in all the interior fillets so there's eight of those like we just said then I did the exterior fillets and if again if you take a look there's one on this bottom edge here and then what I do next I did the holes so now quick tip here when I did the holes I only did two on this side for the rear and then this axle hole right there and then what I did is I just mirrored all three of those to the other side so I didn't have to do it again on this side and remember to do that you'll need to create a work plane in the middle Remember using the work plane, so you left click hold, drag this. Now you gotta figure out, you know, what's the distance to the middle of this bed. So you have to look at some of those existing overall dimensions to figure out, you know, how far is it to the middle. So you can add in that work plane, and then you can use the mirror 
like you see here. So I mirrored these across that work plane to the other side. Finally, make sure that you add your materials, update your eye properties, and then go ahead and save this. And finally, uh, scoot that over, screen clip that in for a grade, and you will be all done with the bed of the T9.